Ice Alex from Finkar UK. Here we've got a new Euro Expert. It's a 13 inch rugged ice tablet uh, with a, um, a free mode VCI. It's called free mode because we've got um, the Bluetooth multimeter in one at that end. We've got a normal diagnostics and we've also got a two channel oscilloscope. All built into the one VCI. Let's go back to the tablet. The diagnosis is fairly self-explanatory. It's like the Euromaster, the Max and so on. It's, it's our very, very strong coverage. Um, so you click on your brand, click OK, it'll pair the Bluetooth up and then off it goes. Yeah, kind of get the idea, fairly self-explanatory. We've got online programming on all of these brands here, which again is very, very strong, including software reflashing on those. Even on Ford, we actually have a lot of online programming. We don't actually list it in that menu because it doesn't do software reflashing, but it will do configuration of BCMs and things like that, so that's all built in. Uh, intelligent diagnostics is basically the same, but it's an auto VIN function. Uh, the quick check will do an auto VIN, then it will go straight into a full vehicle scan just by clicking the one button. Then if you've got the optional built-in printer, like that, it clicks in the back, it'll do an automatic printout of that result. That's what that's for. Uh, the vehicle maintenance is our shortcut for all of our everyday functions, like our AdBlue resets, our DPF resets, TPMS resets, and so on. So the TPMS reset is quite interesting. That just looks at the fault codes and actually the the reset functions of it. It doesn't actually configure any sensors. So this is again where the um, Euro Expert comes in. It actually comes with its own TPMS module standard. This clips into the rear expansion pack. That's clipped into the back. We can then click on TPMS. Click on our brand. Let's go Audi A6. Oh, why don't I go indirect? And then we can look at our sensor values. Back at our sensor values, programming, learning. It's even got our driven relearns, and we can click. Well, basically, when we click on activate, if the valve actually needs an activation, the module on the back will actually then do it. If we're using a Euromaster or a Max, we do this uh, option here, which is done by Bluetooth, where this will pair tap Bluetooth to the tablet on the Euro X, but it's actually combined into the back of the tool. Again, this is one of the advantages of being with a Finkart brand because we're the OE manufacturer for other brands as well. We've got a lot more of the options to bolt on. So this one here is actually one of the more popular ones. Is, it is thermal imager. So when we go to module, we've got printer, which we've already seen. A work light, which I'm not really that worried about because everyone's got a torch of some sort. And then we've got a thermal imager, which is detected as plugged in, which is why it's gone red. Uh, the video scope is a bore scope that goes into the USB at the top. Uh, we've got two battery testers. We do a clip in one, which goes in the back, or we do a Bluetooth one over here. So click on thermal imager. And then we get our thermal imager. Decent refresh. I'm quite happy with that. Right, again, um, this is what's new on the Euro Expert, which isn't on any of the other Finkart range. Uh, we've got the oscilloscope. Click on connect, it's done by Wi Fi, it's not done by Bluetooth. What it will do is in this box, it will come up with a serial number there. So I've got my little car simulator over here. Over here, we can then go crank sensor. There's our crank sensor. We can then change it over here. We can click on cam sensor. And then it'll change the cam sensor slightly. So on the bottom here, we can adjust the time base. And then on up here, we can change the voltage scale up here. So it's fairly self-explanatory. Don't get me wrong, it's not the best scope in the world, but it's more for a quick check that's built into a convenient tablet that you've really got in your hand because you're using it for diagnostics. So we click back and come out twice, and then we can go multimeter. Same idea, we can then click connect, and it'll do it via Wi-Fi again. So now we've got Bluetooth multimeters, we've got numeric mode, we've got numeric and waveform mode, and then waveform only mode. Again, we're not measuring anything at the moment, it's not going to show much. 
Uh, along the bottom, we've got Team Viewer, Think Files, our previous vehicles, repair information, shortcuts to things like auto data and stuff like that. And then our software updates. So it's showing me there's an update for generic OBD. We've got an update for um, uh, Fiat and Alpha. And then feedback is if we've had any software issues, we can actually send off any support tickets. These are the previous vehicles we've done. So yeah, all in all, that's the tool there. It cut does come with pre-16-pin cables as well. I've not shown them to you because everyone knows what they look like. It also comes with a, um, a OBD splitter for F-Series BMW programming. Uh, we also, it comes with, sorry, start again. So it comes with 13-inch tablet. You get the VCI, you get the TPMS tool. You also get four rubber, uh, four valves, two metal, two rubber. And then you get the case with everything else in it. So it's a very, very complete kit. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's any questions. Cheers, bye-bye.